I'm here at uh, Mark McDonough from Latitude 43 at the Harbor Walk. He's got some salt cod, but he says I shouldn't try it. Why not, Mark? Well, once I saw it and smelt it, I knew that it would be better done by a chef. So uh, this weekend, Chef Scott at Latitude 43 is going to make a special mashed potato striper dish that uses the salt cod. And uh, since I've never seen it or tasted it before, I had to bring some down. Toss them over at Monty and Andrew Shell. Here it is. That's what it looks like. All right. Will it be on the menu tomorrow? It's on tonight, Thursday, Thursday until last. All Harbor Walk weekend. Until last. Until, until it runs out. Until it runs out. Thank you, Mark. Well, if you look on Good Morning Gloucester, Sister Felicia and I did that recipe. Oh, it's one of the traditions for Christmas Eve. And what it is, is a fisherman will bring in the cod. There's a lot of it years ago, they should be uh, get shipped in by the cod when they did the cod. Now it gets shipped in from Portugal, believe it or not. <laughs> but years ago, they would get the cod, they have the salting cod, they would get the salt, which is coarser than a regular household of salt. They Soak it and we'd have it down in the basements hanging like the clothesline. You would go down any fisherman's basement and see those hanging. They would have a rope at the end. They'd tie a rope here and have it hanging. And it would be hanging. You think it was close. And they would do that for months until it gets really dry, dry. This is kind of moist. This has to be dried and curd for a long time. And then when you want it, you could freeze it or cut pieces of it. It can stay for a year. You'd cut pieces of it, salt it underwater, you put it underwater for three days, the salt would come off and you could fry it and make this sweet and sour caramelized onions to put on top. Just a little bit of flour, deep fry it, caramelize your onions, put it on top, it's to die for. Well, we made it on the recipe with Martin Gloucester uh, with Sister Felicia. We did the, we call it a gyop, but we call it, you know, it's bacala stew. So that's how bacala, Portuguese and Italian is bacala. And you just get it. We did some potatoes and her and I argued olives, no olives, yes olives. We had such a good time. You can put whatever you want, you you cook your potatoes. When your potatoes are like almost halfway done, add all the other vegetables you want to put in. Add your sauce, chopped tomatoes if you want, or just canned tomatoes. Add your fish to the end, slowly cook it. She can bake it, you can cook it, whatever you want, you slowly do it. You've got it, the whole special touch is in the salt that it changes the whole flavor of everything. Yeah. It is, it really is. Really. It is amazing. But it is, it's on um, one of Sister Felicia's Good Morning Gloucester right. recipes. We'll find we it. had, we were supposed to do four segments. We ended up doing one because we laughed so hot. I'm not putting olives, yes I am. No you're not, I'm cutting it, no I'm not. It's awesome. It's just the tradition of Gloucester. Cod is the fish in Massachusetts, but it is in the Portuguese, in the Italian households. In Portuguese, every fisherman knew what bacala was. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And what, don't forget that where it could be preserved and salted, you never went hungry because you always had a piece of hot, uh, hot hay. Yeah, that's right. So you always had a meal. Yep. Have a good day, everyone.